for products for you on NerdWallet. Gun control advocates are trying to prevent something like this from happening again. Yeah, they are calling on Congress now to listen to the people, not the National Rifle Association lobby. News 8 Chief Political Correspondent Jody Latina live in our Hartford newsroom tonight with that. Jody. The battle cry today was it's a crime that Congress has not acted. The governor is calling for federal officials to pass a uniform background check, assault weapons ban, and a law on gun storage safety like we have here in Connecticut. Unity in a time of grief. It's happened in schools. It's happened in schools. It's happened in schools. And when is it enough? And what the hell is it going to take? Stop this. Gun control advocates joined Democratic lawmakers on the steps of the state capitol, pleading with Congress to do more. Ten years ago, leaders stood with Sandy Hook in the midst of tragedy. A decade later, cries for change remain. If we could just have the rest of the country put in place some of the gun safety laws, the likes of which we have here, we could make things a little bit safer. Connecticut has some of the strictest gun laws in the nation have to be 21 years old to purchase a firearm. There is a waiting period and assault rifles and high capacity magazines are banned. Over the last decade, lawmakers have worked in a bipartisan fashion. This year, however, Democratic Chair of the Judiciary Committee, Steve Staffstrom, says Republicans blocked a bill to require all homemade ghost guns to be registered. The issue of gun safety legislation has become more partisan today than it was four years ago, eight years ago. But Republicans say there were enforcement issues with ghost guns. Instead, House Minority Leader Vincent Candelora points to bipartisan measures like school safety, passing gun storage regulations in Ethan's law, adopting legislation focused on mental health for children and adults, and a bill he co-wrote letting municipalities use qualified retired police officers as security guards in schools. He says the issue is not prosecuting gun crimes. Upward of 90% of them are not being prosecuted in the state of Connecticut. So we've got to bring accountability to our criminal justice system. And then on the front end, I think, as lawmakers, we have to stop the partisan bickering. This is not an opportunity to score political points. This is an opportunity to be an agent for change and start talking about how we start identifying high-risk behavior and start correcting it. Every single individual in our communities can be a part of that change. The governor was asked whether he will call lawmakers back in for a special session to tackle the gun control bill. He said, I'm not there yet. Live in the Hartford newsroom, Jody Latina, News.